more with the Mizuho healthcare strategist, Jared Hulls. Um, Jared, great to have you with us. Um, does, does Jorgensen have a point? I mean, if, if the PBMs agreed to do that, would the problem be solved? Melissa, thanks for having me. I, I don't really think so. I mean, this is a problem that we see across healthcare, across pharmaceuticals, where we've got higher prices in the U.S., much lower prices internationally. There are so many reasons for it. Obviously, the investment that the company has put in has been massive. The healthcare systems in Europe and otherwise are extremely different, and the complexities around what we're facing with the PBMs and the supply chain and all these different payer systems makes it untenable, I think, to do something very simplistic that I think Senator Sanders and others want. So I think to be determined, but I think it's pretty complicated. Why do you think Lilly was not called to the Hill? Well, I, I would be kind of surprised if they were not called at some point. Um, mm -hmm. When you just look at the numbers, you know, we go V and Ozempic are already annualizing at $25 billion. And WeGovi's been on the market for a little bit longer than ZepBound has if we just compare the obesity medication. So if this is just a, a numbers game and Sanders and others are, are looking at the dollars that have been generated, Novo, I guess, has more of a target on it than Lilly, but it's probably an eventual situation for Lilly to come here too. Jared. We've seen a little, some of these stocks, Lilly and Nova, sort of roll over for other reasons over the last couple of weeks. I think it's a function of competition, maybe valuation, but there's some other plays sort of, I don't know, under the, under the radar screen plays that are out there that we've talked about. Is M&A going to be a theme here? We've talked about it a number of different times. Names like Viking, we've talked to people at Summit, all different names. Does that make sense in this environment? I think so. I mean, it just comes down to the future investment that you would need to make as a pharmaceutical company not already in obesity or without an obesity pipeline. I mean, to, to miss out on this market opportunity, um, I think, is nearly unforgivable. We're talking about the biggest therapeutic category in all of pharma and biotech within a couple of years from now. So I think eventually you'll see it. I mean, pharma may want to wait for all these different data sets to come out and for the kind of competitive landscape to play out. I mean, how many times are we going to go through data sets that move stocks by 20, 30 percent? Even the large cap names have moved extremely um, in extreme volatile ways on the back of data. So it might just be a wait and see, see how all the data sets play out and then make a move. My sense is it's just a little bit too early on one hand. And then just the constant um, investment needed for manufacturing is the second big consideration here. Jared, uh, tough weekend for your brownies. I'm sorry. Mm. Uh, I tell you, what does this circus in Washington do for you know, your analysts and, and you as you look at uh, either the valuation of these stocks? I just want to understand whether this is an opportunity for investors, because, again, the reality is these prices are not going to change here anytime soon for the hottest drugs in the market. Yeah, I agree. I mean... We've been through this so many different times with various Senate committees looking at the industry, whether it's insurance companies, PBMs, pharma pricing. Um, you know, I part of me thought that with the IRA and the government going after pharma and negotiating price for uh, drugs that you get at the at the pharmacy chains or that need to be administered in a doctor's office, this would kind of start to go away and. For whatever reason, it's not. Um, I just think it's a perennial headache that we as a you know, healthcare um, investor base or community have to deal with. And I, I don't think it's going to anything's going to change over the near term, at least. And now with the election coming up, you know, various new implementations or strategies that we're not really privy to. It's kind of just like what we have to you know, manage through on a, on a yearly basis. And with respect to the Browns, it's been you know, the saddest mm -hmm. I can remember. <laughs>